I'm in Denver, Colorado, walking along the street. Denver, Colorado. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Here we are. It's good to see you again. I have absolutely no idea what I will say to you today. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm like that. Oh, man, I've been meeting some beautiful people, having some beautiful experiences, you know, just uh, oh, seeing through this illusion. That's good. Thank goodness. I met a beautiful dog. Everything's beautiful. I met, I met a dog named Ruby, and she's a puppy. And she's cute. And I'm just, oh, I, I know what it was. I just wanted to tell you I loved you. <laughs> well, I didn't love you. I, I still love you. I loved you, and I love you, and I will love you. And that's it. And so we just keep on, keep on keeping on. And here we are. I'm in Denver, Colorado. There's a coffee shop down the street. I'm just grateful to be here. Just uh, wanted to uh, check in with you. There's Craig. My new friend that I made on YouTube. I, I made a friend on YouTube. <laughs> like somebody I know. Ah, I found out my dad's watching on YouTube. My mom watches sometimes. So there's three of you. I, I get some views. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make friends. I'm just trying to make connections really. You know, I'm just like, I got these songs coming out every day right now uh, till later this November. Uh, songs that I'm real proud of. Songs from my archive, you know, s stuff I've been doing for a long time. And just kind of pulling them out and publishing them for the first time, really. So it's like all unreleased stuff. Hope you enjoy it. It's just there for you, you know. It's like, it's my life, you know. It's, it's a life. Hopefully it speaks of some kind of universal life. I don't know. There's some, who knows what's on there, you know. But trying to do stuff like this, I'm just, I just know I need to connect. You know, we need to connect. Uh, like Craig was saying, you know, the... The tribe mobilizing whatever your language is for it you know I mean I know that I know that we need each other you know we can't we can't can't do it by ourselves you know but no one can do it for us either you know it's that salvation's got to come from from within and so I'm just here to I'm just here to encourage you one of I mean one of the thousands and thousands and thousands of voices right now that are emerging in this world speaking of the revolution speaking of the awakening speaking of the enlightening speaking of the transformation there whatever words you want to call it the atonement the healing the great forgiving i don't know but i see it wherever i go because it's happening right here and if it's not happening in you and around you something's probably gone wrong <laughs> i love you I love you. I, you know why I love you? You know, you know how, how I love you? Because I, I love this. I love what's going on right here today. And there's absolutely no, no real reason on the outside that I should. It's all, it's all right in here, you know? I'm just walking along the street. It's cold. My toes are real cold in my shoes. Um, I'm visiting my brother here. Them, my brother and Ruby and Shelly, the dogs, and uh, drank some coffee this morning. Usually don't do that. I'm pretty excited now. You know, have a little headache. So I got down on that. But, uh, anyway, here I am. Here we are. I just want you to know you're not alone. There's, I got a friend named Dan who told me that one time. He said, you are not and you know that's the universal message that's what we're all suffering from I, I've discovered is that uh, we all think we're alone you know I, I thought I was alone for years and and I was doing all the things that I was supposed to be doing sometimes you know sometimes I wouldn't but, but you know <laughs> I did enough of the right thing to where I felt like I gave it a good shot at least I don't know you know I got no righteousness I got no justification I got none of that all I got is just this moment, just right here. But anyway, Dan, yeah, he sent me this text one time. I started going to 12-step meetings, you know. My friend Dan, he he approached me after this meeting. He could see I was miserable. He's just like, you look like you're hurting. Would you, uh, can I help you? <laughs> you know, that's what we do for each other, right? And, you know, we, we, we show each other this unconditional and absolute um, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the final step, guys. 
it really is. It's it's like the it's like it's like the final word. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing greater than forgiveness because I mean, you can call it whatever you want. I mean, if you want to call it acceptance, if you want to call it, um, I don't know what are the other words that you can call forgiveness. You know, just I, I don't know. I mean, it does, the words are just kind of symbols of uh, pointing to something greater. But but we we release. You know, we release. We let go. We let go. And that's really, uh, that's kind of like the final step, I think. It's just letting go and then just, uh, you know, because there's this illusion that we're alone. And uh, as long as we think we're alone, then as long as we think we're separate from, from our fellow human beings, then we're going to be uh, blaming them. So right, I mean, so so that it's kind of, that's kind of what's holding us, you know. It's like there's really only one problem, and that's uh, we think we're alone. So anyway, Dan sent me that text. You are not alone, and I don't know something just, you know, it's about five years ago or so, maybe a little longer. But um, thanks, Dan. But I, I, I've had so many wonderful friends who have helped me through the years. So many people who have been supporting me uh, through these last. These last two and a half years, especially the past four months, you know, start naming names, we're always going to leave somebody out. So, but, you know, I mean, there's these people, you know, recently Ian, you know, Tyson, uh, just, you know, uh, giving me an invitation, putting, me, putting some wind in my sails, and, and I got to go to Key West and play some music, and you know, of course, my mom, just all these people that are just like, you know, like, I finally see my worth. You know, I'm seeing my worth today, and it's not because I'm doing it right. It's not because I'm doing anything right. It's because I'm, because I, because I gave up. I surrendered. I surrendered to the, I surrendered. I just surrender. I surrender to you. I surrender. I'm defenseless. I got no defense. I got no attack. Oh, I've released, I've, I've forgiven the whole damn world. <laughs> you know I love you. I just called to say I love you. That's real. I was just going to tell you I love you. I love you. I hope that's what you see. I hope that's what you feel. You know? And that's what, I mean, if there's anything that this internet is for, it's just to spread this, you know? It's just to let you, you know, we have the, we have the capacity to connect with the entire world. I watched like the beginning of the Edward Snowden movie last night. He said something like that. If you were, you know, he was asked the question, if, if you were to explain the internet to a five-year-old, you know, how would you explain it? You know, he said something like, it's just the means for us, for you to, to meet everyone in the whole world or something like that, you know? So here I am, here you are. I'd like to hear from you. That's what I'm here for. I need to make these connections. We need to make these connections, um, you know, just to, we wake each other up. We, we are, you are my savior. You are my teacher. And I'm the only one who can, we can't really teach each other anything, right? I mean, not really. I mean, we can only remind each other that, that, that we're not alone. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I'm just reminding you that you're not alone and that my awakening is your awakening. Your awakening is my awakening. That there is really no separation. This, not, this, none of this is really even happening. There is, this is, this is not nearly as solid as we, as we thought it was. You know, people used to always tell me, you know, uh, don't take things so personal, personally. And I'd be like, well, what the fuck other way is there to take things and personally? <laughs> this is not a personal experience. This is a, this is an experience of the one. Here we are. That's it. That's it. It's, it's, it's already done. All the forgiveness is already done. There's no pledges of allegiance to take. There's no, there's no threat of hell. There's no condemnation. God never judged. God doesn't forgive because God never judged anyone. That's our job. That's what the Christ showed us is that it's our job to forgive. We're going to, we, we forgive this world in the, you know, and if Christ is not your story, then I, I, <laughs> there's no condemnation in that, you know? It's like, I mean, but everybody's coming to forgiveness. Everybody's going to release. I mean, one day we're all going to just, just this sigh of relief, you know? We're just going to let go of all of our opinions, of all of our judgments, of all of our being right, you know? Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? I'm choosing happiness today, you know? 
what else is there? When you got, when you when you ran out of all the all the righteousness, when when all the when all the stories that you're telling about yourself ran out, you know, when when all when when the people that you loved the most, you know, that when when you became to them what what you what you always knew that you couldn't become, you know, and you got no justification for yourself, but you you know how you got there, <laughs> and you just keep loving. And you keep love, and then even you even begin to hear in the silence from from those people. You begin to hear the voice of God, you know. And then there's no expectations for anybody, anyone, or anything. No expectations, you know. And then we've got to become that for ourselves. We we become that. We become that love. <laughs> and then we're not acting like we're forgiving. We're not acting like we're loving. We we become forgiveness. We become that love. And uh, and then the world doesn't seem to be such a disappointing place after all. I got no idea what's going on. Well, thank you, God, for cruise control, because it lifts my spirit and soothes my soul while I'm riding up through the panhandle of Texas. And there's cars and trucks and mobile homes. Semi tractors set the tone while I'm sucking on sunflower seeds in a Mountain Dew. And the day's going down in the west up ahead. The clouds are pink and the sun is red. And one of those semi trailers just passed me going 85. <laughs> I love you, my brothers and sisters. We are one. We are one. There's the trash truck. It's backing up and making a big beeping sound. I'll let you go now. I love you. Bye.